Hello everybody, we are back with an unboxing. This is from Sherry in Tillamook, Oregon. If you remember, she sent some wonderful things last time. And the very, very first thing that she ever sent me were some glasses that my Graham had that I have been collecting. And now, uh, thanks to her and some local auctions, I have so many of those glasses. So I will always associate Sherry with starting me on the road to finishing collecting the glasses for that remind me of my Graham. She sent me this really nice note and I thought, oh, I'll just read the note and then I'll open the box later. But then I, the more I read, the more excited I got about it. The really cool thing that she sent, I haven't opened anything. So the only thing that I've seen so far is this photo. And what it is, if you remember that video from Tillamook, the Goodwill that we went to. Oh, they can read it. This is $10 for this one. Hmm. She's missing some of her skin point to the middle of her hat. She's missing some spaghetti right there. I think she's supposed to be holding something. Maybe like a leash or something. I could see it like being a dog. Like they would have had a, like a dog attached to like it. This. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm pointing to my stuff. Jenny and I found this figurine, but there was damage to her hat, if I remember correctly. The spaghetti on her hat. And she was missing all of this. And I'm going to read from the note. She said, I think I must have just missed you when you were here in Tillamook. I watched your video and saw you pick up the vintage Christmas shopping girl, shopper girl that I bought. I've enclosed a photo of her after I repaired the spaghetti and gave her a little Hagen Reneker kitty companion since she has cats. And she'll be a great addition to her Christmas decorations. That is fantastic. That is beautiful. Look, you... I think it was on the hat that the spaghetti was broken. I can't even tell. Isn't that great? She did a great job. So then she s said that she sent me some treasures to sell, keep, or donate. And then she was adding little notes at the bottom. And that's when I decided we're just going to open up the box and dive right in. It's very heavy. It weighed, let's see, how much did this weigh? It weighed nine pounds nine pounds all the way from oregon it is full to the brim there was a placemat on the very top and i will go get that real quick to show you um so we don't miss anything i'll be right back this was the placemat that she had on the very top this is a pimpernel made in england it still has the sticker on the back and this is an english cottage it says english cottages uh, I would guess it was a series. These are those hard ones. This would be really cute on a shelf. If you have uh, kind of floral and pictures, I could see little antique pictures with flowers coming out of it. That would be a nice backdrop to it. All right, let's dive in and move the chair over here. Right now, the dogs are being quiet. <laughs> I'm sure that will change. And then we'll play the guessing game of guess who's eating or drinking now. <laughs> Everything is wrapped so wonderfully. She always does such a great job. I feel so blessed that she sends me things to share with you all. I love this. Look at this. This is beautiful. That is so pretty. It doesn't have any markings on it. I'm surprised. Oh, it has a little fuzzy on his uh, beak from the bubble wrap. There we go. Look. Oh, I love it. That is really, really nicely done. And there's no mark there. All right, right out of the box, we have a winner. <laughs> Put the paper over here. Oh, this is cute too. Show you the bottom first. It's marked Japan. Oh, this is so cute. That is so cute. Look at his hair. That's adorable. And the little tail. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. This seems like it's a bowl of some kind. Oh, that's pretty. So the bottom says 2007 Elizabeth Carlton Studio. And it's a bowl with a palm tree. That's very pretty. I like that it's kind of rustic, nice and thick. 
I like that. And then the white detailing is raised to the touch. That's very pretty. Look at that. That reminds me of summer. Summertime, summertime. I'm checking her notes. She has notes on four things. So I don't want to, I want to refer back to them. Let's see. Oh, this is cute too. It's a little trinket. You know how I like the trinkets. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's enameled. That's the inside. And the outside is puppy dog. It kind of, um, oh, like there's beads on the collar there. That's neat. I like how it feels too. It's nice and smooth. There's no marking on the bottom. And if you recognize anything, and you be sure and tell me in the comments. Oh, that's a bluebird made by Bob Smith. <laughs> oh, here's Mother Mary. Very nice. Now this is the one I think she said, vintage Italian carved wood of the Holy Mother. And she thinks it could be Henri. It is marked on the bottom. Let me get that in focus. There we go. That's very pretty. Very nicely done. That's pretty. I like that. Let's see. Here we have another. This is called, um, called, this is marked Delft Blue, hand painted in Holland. There's the bottom. It looks like it's a little jar with an, uh, a wooden lid to it. I wonder if it was a little spice jar or something. She has paper in here, but I put paper in the inside of my things, and I think that's what she did too. That's really pretty. I like that. That's neat. It has sailboats and, sorry, I can't see it. Yeah, if you can see it from there. It has sailboats and the um, windmills. <laughs> that's pretty. I like that with the lid. That makes it handy to keep things in there. <clears throat> up next is a little figurine oh that's adorable this is a uh, napco wear and it's made in taiwan so it has some age to it a little doctor boy taking care of the puppies oh look that one's sick oh that's so sweet that's cute i like that that's very very sweet Ooh, let me sh let me bring you over here without dropping you. Hold on. I want to show you what you see. around. Look. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I see some glass that is red. <laughs> I got this stand for five dollars at Five and Below, so I'm always shocked when I have to. Why do I have to precariously precariously? stop um get you standing again <laughs> i know i need to invest in a higher quality one but i wanted to show you the red glass but i have to get to something else first all right we have a box here let me get this stuff out of the way <clears throat> all right i wanted you to see what was in what i was seeing all right you fell over but i didn't show that part <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to see what was in the box. Now I've put you back on the table and we're going to look in a small box before we get to that glass. <gasps> They're little critters. They're little Wade critters. Oh, oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I might have to keep this one. It's a little piggy coming out of a bag. Oh, that's you see him? He has a little chippy ear, so I have to keep him. He's so cute. This is a Wade. For those of you who are wondering, what's a Wade? Wade Whimsies were put in tea, boxes of tea. That's so cute. I haven't seen this one. Or, and I haven't seen this one either. A little yellow lab. And they are usually marked on the back made in England or sometimes this one says Wade England I haven't seen this one either here is a blue goose 
I might add these to my whatnot sale. I'm having a whatnot sale on Friday at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I might put some of these in that sale. And this looks like a little bear with a hat. Let's see, get him. Focus on the bear, not on my face. There we go. Doesn't look like he has a little hat on. Oh, there's a the little ear. There. I can fix it. And now it will be mine because I have glue. There, I'm going to keep this one. So here's the tip of his ear. That makes it, that seals the deal. So I will keep this one for me and I'll put him over here with his little ear. Let's see. Oh, here's another little piggy. This little piggy. Oh, there's three of them. Aww. Three little pigs. The three little pigs. That is cute. Look how sad they look. <laughs> Here is, oh, I've seen this one before. This is a circus poodle. That's a Wade also. And this one is a little ja uh, Japan. There it's marked on the bottom. Puppy dog. Very, very cute. And look at this. Look how cute this is. It's a little ladybug. He looks so happy. Oh, I love that one too. He might have to join my pig. Aw, that's so cute. I love critters, especially little critters. Okay, that's that box. Ooh, I think we can get to the glass now. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It still has its sticker. It says John... Can you see it? John Kempel Glassworks, Camova, West Virginia, handmade. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Look at the bottom. I love Amberina glass with the sawtooth edge. That's pretty. It's so nice. It still has the sticker on it. There's the sticker. Girl, I'll put a picture in picture so you can see up close of that. That is beautiful. We have one, two, three. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, and there's the other um, place, placemat that you saw earlier. This one. Oh, they are different. So those are very pretty. Those are in really good shape. They're not scratched. There's like some surface wear, but they're not scratched. Those are really nice. Okay. So we have one, two, or three. Let's just go in order, right? It's like small, medium, large. Oh, I see something. That looks like some artist on your ring And plus, I see her, um, her note. Oh, I was just looking at her note. She says that this is a enamel copper trinket box. Okay, Let's see that. Ooh, that is cool. Look at that. It's so big. It is marked on the bottom there, right there. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Wow. Look how big it is. It's big. That's cool. Okay, let's look at this next one. That's cute. Oh, aw. That's cute. There's the marking on the bottom. The bottom, bottom. And then a little Pegasus, too. That's so cute. Look at its hair. There's one, there's two of them in here. <gasps> there's another one. Okay, these she thinks is the Artist Sonia Rinconada. Okay, yes. This is definitely Artist Sonia Rinconada. There is the marking. You can see it AR. These large and rough texture. 
This one might be, I have to do some research on this one because that has a different signature, but it definitely has that South American, Peru, Uruguay style. Look at these. Oh, look. Oh, look, he has a little heart on his butt. Oh, look, it's a mama and a baby. Oh, look. That's so sweet. They're in perfect condition, too. Oh, look. Aw, that's adorable. All right. We're down to the last one. This. Oh, maybe this is what the Max Hint. Is that what you were thinking this one is? That she wrote her note for. Max H-I-N-D-T Pottery. Okay. I'm just not reading it right. So Max Hint Pottery Pegasus. She thinks that that's who this is by. And then those two are artists on your ring. Cannot. All right. Or is it this one? Ugh. This one's ginormous. Oh my goodness. Look how big. Whoa. Oh, and you packed it so nicely. Oh, look at its face. Oh, my goodness. That's so cool. Look, what a great job you did. Look at the pack job on this. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to reuse all of this stuff. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. So, you have two Pegasus. No, four with the other ones. Okay. These are definitely artists on your ring Canada. Large and it seems to be a rare one, she thinks. Maybe this one? <gasps> this is so adorable. It looks like it's marked on the bottom with a date, like a year there. Look, okay, I'll let you see now. Sorry, I was kind of hogging it. Look at how pretty she is. I'm saying she because she has some eyelashes. Oh, look how nice. Look how, oh wait, there it is. Got the signature. All right, so this is the Max H-I-N-D-T. H-I-N-D-T. Okay, let me give you the signature so you can see it too. See it right there? Okay, so this is the big one. Okay, okay, okay. I love it. Look how cool that is. That's so cool. Oh, that's amazing. What a great box. Thank you, Sherry, so much. I was not expecting it. You didn't even email me. Um, I have your email, so I'll definitely be emailing you back. This is amazing. Oh, I love every single thing that you brought in. It's so adorable. I feel so blessed that you sent them to me to like, sell, or keep. Hmm, I might be keeping some of them on my shelf just to enjoy for a little bit. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.